we are calling RTS to set up a ride. coordinator with application or eligibility question, press 2 now. To schedule a ride with the service agent, press 3. Please wait while your call is transferred. Please note, in order to serve you better, our TS access phones will be closed the first Wednesday of each month between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. for training and staff development. We do apologize for any inconvenience. Thank you for calling our TS access. All of our representatives are assisting other callers at this time. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and your call will be handled in the order it was received. You are caller number two in the queue. RTS access customers may bring packages aboard RTS or obstruct the bus operator's view. Thank you and enjoy the ride. Thank you for calling. We'll be with you in a moment. How many times have you heard this waiting music? Oh, I, it's in my dreams at this point. Good morning. Thank you for calling RTS Access. My name is Stacy. How may I help you? Hi, Stacy. This is Erica Jones. I need to make a ride for Saturday. Thank you, Erica. And I have you at number 44. It makes you feel a bit lesser. People in general don't have to spend an hour or two hours extra in their day to figure out how they're going to get somewhere um, if they even can physically get somewhere and the the amount of time that you have to spend planning down to the minute of your entire day is just exhausting so a disabled person can't go out with their significant other to dinner on a whim they can't go to the movies on a whim which is very frustrating for our community. So um, that's why we're making this phone because we need better options. If you have a disability and you want to get around in Monroe County, your options are very, very limited. Particularly, for example, if you are blind, paratransit is it. If you can't bum a ride from a friend, uh, you got to result to taxis, which are costly. If you made aware of an event last minute, you can't schedule a ride the day of. Um, you can, but it's very, very risky. Public transportation, even though it is extensive, it's not reliable and it's not good for people with disabilities. Traveling um, for a person, you know, like me, it, it, it involves a lot of planning. Um, I can't just spontaneously say, hey, I'm gonna get out today. I have to uh, call and schedule rides ahead of time. Most of the time, um, I can't even get uh, the, the times that I need. So, you know, um, sometimes I'm just stuck and I stay home, you know. Um, the reality is um, during the winter, I'm trapped in my house most of the time. That's what I usually find myself. I, I, I don't really go out. I live in the suburbs and transportation is very, very limited out there at that time of the day. Um, and I ha and also I'm I'm blind, so I can't drive myself. But you know, I, I, when I'm at when I am asked to hang out, I, I I would like to. It's important to remember that you know people with disabilities also want to get to work, also want to access the community. We need you know we have the same needs as everyone else. Um, so why am I less important than you? People, regardless of their disability. They want to get around, they want to have fun, um, and that's that's an issue that we're having right now because um, there are avenues that are very limited in terms of where, the, where they'll serve. If we actually had a same-day service that uh, you would not be denied, or it was a guarantee that you could get a ride that day, that would be a huge help. And then people could go to the movies and go on dates, which is 
part of the problem in our community. Um, how do you date someone when you don't know how you're going to get there? Do you have to then call your first date and say, hey, look, I have this thing where I can't get around and you're going to have to drive me everywhere. Most people are just going to go, that's not reasonable. So just, just increasing same day options across the board would help significantly. Yeah, I use um, RTS and RTS Access. Yeah, there's been a few times where I've tried to catch the bus um, where uh, I would actually be left at the bus stop um, because, you know, the bus is too full. Or, um, you know, there have been times where uh, I would try to travel during the winter and my chair would get stuck in the snow. Um, so these are very uh, real issues um, that, you know, I face and a lot of people do. Um, I don't even know what the bus lines are because I don't live safe enough to navigate to um, a bus route. I live about two miles away from the nearest fixed line route, which is why I take RTS access. I can't take the bus without assistance. Um, and that's the reason I'm on the paratransit. Uh, the ramp itself is too steep for me to push up and I can't rely on other people or on the bus driver every time to help me up. We really value RTS. Uh, they've done a really great job with working with my organization um, and my community. Just listening to our, our issues and trying to figure out solutions that were feasible and um, that has led to better wait times. Um, that's led to them hiring more people, which helped the wait times. So they really have, have made an effort to um, make it a lot easier in this area. So we really appreciate that. Not having a car is, is, a, is a problem for our community because it's, just so expensive and um, then you have to think about hand controls you have to think about all these extra attachments to the car and if you have a power chair you have to find you're you're pretty much limited to a van oh uh, uber so this whole ride hailing thing Uber is not um, accessible to people with disabilities. We know that they're faulty, whether it's not accepting rides for chair users because they don't have the mechanisms to do it, not accepting rides for blind people because they have service animals. Okay, you're deaf, you can be drivers now. Or, okay, you're in a manual chair, we'll pick up some of you, but we still aren't going to pick up people in power chairs. It's extremely divisive to our community. So it's, it's ultimately beginning to pit us against each other. Um, so if they were coming to New York State, I would like to see um, something uh, figured out so that um, we're not discriminating against people with disabilities. Um, you know, it's 2017 and you know, we're still um, having issues with access. I'm nervous and I'm frustrated that the state doesn't want to um, hamper down on these companies because they want to claim that they're a uh, technology company when they're when they're a taxi company, just with technology features. Paratransit, even though with its faults, it is an accessible vehicle. So you can get into it and you can get out of it. You just can't rely on it. Uber and, and the bus system and um, RTS access, though they're great, they're not necessarily options for everyone. We're looking for an integrated system. We want to see people with disabilities being able to have the same ride opportunities, opportunities as people without disabilities. We need a company like the current uh, paratransit or like the medical transportation to step up and say, okay, we're gonna offer this service
for people with disabilities and the community because then you have integration. It, it opens up independence and opens up opportunity.